All right, Nick, let's talk about the New York football Jets. The Jets have been making a lot of really smart moves this offseason. I think Aaron Rodgers is really pleased with how this team is being fleshed out. I think they are becoming a contender on the offensive side of the ball because we all know on the defensive side of the ball, they have been a contender for the last couple of years, one of the best defenses in the league, Nick. But they made another move today that contenders make, a move that the contenders really like to make here is depth and they made a really great play today and we're going to get into that story here in just a moment mines i agree with you 100 the move the jets just pulled off is a great sign for them that they know exactly what they need to do this season but before we get into that jets fans got a really interesting question for you guys to answer as always in the comment section below who is your favorite player of all time who never played for the new york jets you heard me so give me the one player in nfl history that you thought that was the best that never suited up for gang green let us know who that guy is in the comment section below and make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear hear word from our partner today's video and that of course is neuro they've got a lot of great products that give you a fast and easy the energy boost we love to take their mints and gums before the show it gives us the energy we need to get through this jets content to produce just for you so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to learn more about neuro and to get access to the most important part our special discount code all right Miles, what you got what's the latest out of new york all right nick so there is a big time move here coming in new york may not seem that way but once we get into this here a little bit you'll see exactly why i'm going to go over to the tweet now this is from at brian coes on twitter he said the Jets are signing offensive tackle Yadni Kajus per a source. Kajus, a 2019 third round pick of the Patriots, played in 10 games for New England last year. Nick, this doesn't seem like something big on the surface, but it is big because the Jets offensive line has been battling injuries back and forth for a while now, especially the, the guy that is so frustrating is that of Mekhi Becton. This is a guy who has absolutely all of the physical tools. He is 6'7", almost 360, 370 pounds. It just depends. He typically will come in overweight, so that is something you have to worry about. He has, but I hope this year he does not. In the past, he has. This guy who got drafted 11th overall uh, back in 2020, he is a special talent as far as his skills and his size, but he has battled injuries. He has battled conditioning. So. This is the year that I think Becton will come back, but if he proves me wrong and he does not make a 100% turnaround this year, it is really crucial that the Jets have good tackle depth here, Nick, and that is why Yadnik Juice is the perfect guy. He has played right tackle all throughout his pro career, but he played left tackle all throughout his college career, so he has experience at both sides of the ball, and I think this is a great pickup to have some solid offensive line depth, which is something crucial, as we said, for contenders to have. Because with Aaron Rodgers, you don't want any surprises. You want to have a guy, if Beckton gets hurt, if anybody gets hurt, they can come in and fill that role nicely. And I think Kajust is exactly that guy. Specifically, he started 10 games last year for New England. But Nick, let's get into it. What are your thoughts on Kajust and how is he going to affect this Jets team? So this Jets roster is absolutely stacked. Their defense is spectacular. Their secondary may be the best in football. Great defensive line. Quinn and Williams, hopefully that contract issues, all that stuff gets resolved, and he's ready to go. I'm sure he will be. Running back position, they're awesome. Wide receivers, they're great. Tight ends are underrated, pretty good. I really like what they got there. Conklin, Uzama. I think Jeremy Ruckert's a sneaky good player, but he's kind of buried on the depth chart right now. The one question mark for the New York Jets, and the only question mark, is the health of their tackles. And that is obviously a monumental concern when you've got a very elderly quarterback, to be blunt, and Aaron Rodgers, who, while he still can play at a high level, he's not nearly as nimble as what he once was, and there is some concern about injuries and potentially pressure in his face. Avoiding that issue would be paramount for the uh, New York Jets, and one of the ways you can do that is making sure you have a bevy of talented depth players at both tackle positions. That's why I love this pickup. And look, there's no guarantee he even wins the backup job at potentially right tackle. That's what I think he's competing in with, uh, with right now with guys like Matt Mitchell and Billy Turner, Max Mitchell, excuse me, and Billy Turner. But even if he doesn't, and let's say he doesn't even make the team, 
you have a guy here that's gone through all the OTAs, all the training camp. He knows the offense. He understands the cadence of Aaron Rodgers. He gets all of that. So that way, if an injury does happen, if Mekhi Becton does get hurt and you have to throw in a Mitchell as a starter, you're still going to need another backup there potentially for him as well. And you got another guy that you can re-sign potentially. That is what smart teams do. They bring in depth guys to compete, veteran experienced players to compete for backup positions. Because when injuries inevitably happen and some of these guys have to get cut during training camp, you get to re-sign some of these guys that have that experience. The New England Patriots for years were masters of this. They'd bring in a veteran guy, you know, a guy four or five years experience, be like their number five, number six corner. He'd get cut during training camp. They'd have one injury week one or week two, and they'd sign him right back, and the defense wouldn't miss a beat because they already had a guy that knew the scheme. That's why you bring in guys, veteran guys, smart guys, to learn your offense, to compete for positions now when you are a contender. A lot of other teams who aren't contenders or, frankly, don't make smart moves, they, they sign like an undrafted rookie. And they say, well, it's, he's going to be our fourth tackle. Why are we spending any time on him anyway? We can just put an undrafted rookie in there he won't make the team anyway but when injuries happen then you're stuck with the undrafted rookie you obviously don't want that when you're in the middle of a basically a two-year window here for the new york jets that's why i really love this move by joe douglas and company to me it shows that one they understand they are deep in their two-year window number two it understands that their tackle position is precarious with all the injury concerns and number Number three understands that, listen, when push comes to shove and these injuries happen, not if, when, we need to make sure we have a lot of guys who can call, who understand our offense, who can come in and who have executed at a high level. Bringing in solid quality depth offensive linemen who have been, had playing experience is what contenders do and credit for the New York Jets for recognizing it and pulling the trigger on this move. Yeah, Nick. And one final point to leave on. Let's just, you know, get the specifics out here because I don't think we have kind of gone through exactly how uh, important this is, is A, Mekhi Becton coming off surgery from last year. B, yep. Dwayne Brown also coming off of surgery yep. from last year. C, Max Mitchell, Mitchell excuse me, lost w- most of the season last year due to a medical condition. So that's three tackles, two starters, one backup that all have looming medical issues from last year. So it is paramount that they have as much depth as possible, as you said, whether he makes the team or not, you got to have guys in the can ready to come whenever is needed like they say next man up is the best mentality to have and this is a guy who can be your next man up if he goes through all of OTAs all of training camp and is ready to roll with this team all right Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video neuro that's right nick and i want you to go with me on a journey really fast i want you to imagine this it's fourth and goal in the big game nick your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment. You were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated. And it gives you a burst of energy. Without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. 